So what's, what's your background with racquetball? Oh boy. Well, I was in the military in 1967 and the game was brand new and it was uh, sold to the uh, USO and I was stationed in Germany and I was trying to play handball and I saw this sport and fell in love with it uh, instantly. I, I, I thought I was a natural at this, but as I got thinking about this and I've gotten older, I realized when I was a little boy, I loved baseball. And I used to throw a rubber ball against the barn for hours and react to the ball in the barn and played baseball. So it was, since then, I realized that it's probably the work I did as a kid. And many students I work with, like ex-softball players and baseball players, they actually have a pretty good forehand and take to this game pretty fast because of that background. So, What got you into coaching? What got me into it? Yeah. Well, I'm a teacher. I'm a retired teacher. But, but there's no such thing as a retired teacher. You're always a teacher, whether you like it or not. I taught 7th and 8th grade English, and I have a career of 29 years public education. And during those 28, 29 years, it just became natural for me to look for kids that didn't have a sport, try to get them into a sport, and racquetball was a natural for the kids that weren't in the major sports. It got them into something. And out of that group, I had some national champions, and I, I got a hunger to learn more about the game. I competed myself for over 30 years, but I always wanted to learn more, and I'm still learning. So. So what's the most rewarding part of being a coach to players like Rhonda and King? Well, I get asked that a lot. And it's, it's seeing them succeed, knowing how much work they put into it. It's being, um, with Rhonda and Kane, they're almost, it's more than just a coaching relationship. It's almost like a son and daughter relationship sometimes. So you really want them to succeed. But beyond Ron and Kane, most of the people I coach are like the people I'm going to work with here in a few minutes, people that I just started. I got a student now from Tulsa, Oklahoma, who's filling, me, filling my phone with texts about how excited he is to finally learn how to hit the ball without pain and things like that. That's, that's probably where... Um, I get my enthusiasm for the game gets rekindled when I work with people that have that kind of enthusiasm. So, what's your favorite part about attending clinics like this? Uh, getting to meet new people that love racquetball. Um, people have this idea that I'm some kind of, you know, expert or whatever, but I'm just like everybody else. I love the game. I started playing it. Um, making the rules up as I went along, not even knowing the rules when I started. And I know what it's like to uh, be in, in the learning stage of this game, and it's a lot of fun to help people. I, I just like it. So.